Police in Oregon this morning, they are trying to identify a group of vandals that destroyed an iconic natural landmark. But tourists captured the video of people pushing over a rock formation. It happened at the Cape Kiwanda State Natural Area that's southwest of Portland. Ben Tracy shows us why whoever did this could pay a big price. A rock formation standing for thousands of years, gone in mere moments. A seven-second video posted online shows three people toppling a popular sandstone pedestal at Oregon's Cape Kiwanda State Park. The cell phone video was shot by David Callis. I'm like, you know, they're not going to push down. I don't know how much the rock weighs, but, you know, this huge rock. And then you see in my footage, you know, that they just toppled the rock over. The iconic piece of sandstone was known locally as the duck bill. It was about seven feet tall and seven to ten feet wide on top. Though fenced off, it's long been a destination for nature lovers and nature photographers. It just made me upset because everybody knows that rock. And it just like breaks my heart because, you know, so many people have grown up around that rock. State officials first thought it had collapsed due to erosion late last week. If there are crimes here, uh, that will be up to the state police to decide what they are and how to pursue them. Wiggle it. Vandalism in state parks is not new. Two men were given probation in order to pay fines and restitution, totaling more than $2,000 for destroying this Utah rock formation in 2013. And actress Vanessa Hudgens was fined $1,000 for carving into a red rock wall in Arizona. The Oregon sandstone pedestal stood in a dangerous part of the 185-acre nature area. At least six people, including three teenagers, fell to their deaths off the cliffs, including two drownings in the past two years. Our first concern is that making sure people are safe. And then second, what do we need to do to be clearer with people about what's appropriate behavior in a park? The photographer confronted the vandals who claimed the formation was a safety hazard, but he doesn't buy it. For them to have the intentions of just knocking over the rock for the sole purpose of being vandals just, you know, just makes me upset. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles.